four celebrities who hope they know everything there is to know about their specialist subject. But can they cut it on television's toughest quiz? They've agreed to put themselves in the hot seat for their chosen charity, but only one person can be the winner. Who will be crowned tonight's celebrity mastermind? The first celebrity in the spotlight tonight is the actor Neil Dudgeon, his specialist subject, the life and work of the poet Philip Larkin. Comedian Stuart Francis, his subject, the Canadian baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays. Broadcaster and journalist Andrew Collins on the disaster movies of the 70s. And singer and 60s icon Sandy Shaw has chosen Nichiren Buddhism as her specialist subject. I'm John Humphreys and welcome to Celebrity Mastermind. Tonight our four contenders will have one and a half minutes of questions on their specialist subject and two minutes on general knowledge. And whoever scores highest will have not only the great prestige of being the winner, but will also take home this lovely trophy to prove it. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us please. And our final contender, please. They're all so clever, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your chance. Your name? Sandy Shaw. <laughs> your chosen charity? Centre point. And your chosen subject? The Buddhism of Nichiren Dasharnin. The Buddhism of Nichiren. One and a half minutes starting now. Which body, founded in 1975 by Dasaku Ikeda, is a worldwide movement based on Nichiren Dasharnin's Buddhism and its teaching? Soka Gakkai Correct. The characters inscribed by Nichiren on the Dai Gohonzo scroll are taken from Chinese. In which other language? Sanskrit. Yes. In which work of 1255 did Nichiren expound the view that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the universe lie within? Nichiren. On attaining so, Buddhahood in this lifetime, oh. in the chant Nam Miho Renge Kyo, Renge literally means lotus flower, what law does it represent? Um, it, the simultaneity of cause and effect. Yes. According to Nichiren, if other forms of Buddhism represent harvest, what does Nichiren Buddhism represent? Sowing. Yes. The sixth world of Nichiren Buddhism is characterized by short term pleasure. What's it called? Oh. Rapture. Yes. Which of Nichiren's writings opens with the command that all human beings should respect three categories of people, the sovereign, the teacher and the parent? No idea. Right. According to Nichiren's letter to a disciple thanking him for a gift of rice, the rice was not merely rice, but what? Life itself. Yes. On which island was Nichiren exiled for over two years, during which he wrote some of his most important works? Sado. Yes. What was the name of the fisherman who gave food and shelter to Nichiren at the beginning of his exile on the Izu Peninsula? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, we'll take this as a pass. To which priest and convert did Nichiren send the letter known as the Heritage of the Ultimate Law of Life? Don't know. Which specific proposal to... I'll start this off, finish. Which specific proposal to further world peace and harmony was proposed by the Soka Gakkai president in 1957 and is supported by Soka Gakkai International? It will be for um, the, the abolition of nuclear weapons. It would indeed. Exactly right. That's what it was. You had three passes. The uh, convert to whom Nietzsche sent that letter, the heritage of the ultimate law of life, was Siren Bo. The name of the fisherman who gave food and shelter to him was Funamori Yasaburo. And the writing that opens with the command that all human beings should respect the three categories of people, the opening of the eyes of Kamoku Sho. You had three passes and eight points. Thank you. So well, that's the end of the first round, a very close one. Let's have a look at the scores. Join third place, eight points apiece, Andrew Collins and Sandy Shaw. Second place, nine points. <laughs> and Sandy, would you join us again yes. now, please? And um, I know you must be fed up to the back teeth with this, but you did win the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, when it, when it was worth winning. Ah, well, I wondered <laughs> about that. And, and Puppet on a String, lots of songs have won the Eurovision. They've disappeared, but that one just 
you know. I don't know. I wish it would disappear sometimes. You still do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the middle of a Jules Holland tour, which goes on and on and on. And um, we redo it. It's uh, like a really heartfelt ballad now. It's very wistful really? and, and, yeah, it makes you cry. Would it? Mm. Oh. And you still do it barefoot? I mean, sing. Yeah, I sing barefoot. I should try answering questions barefoot, shouldn't I, really? I might get more. <laughs> well, you didn't, do, you didn't do badly. So you'd still tour? Yeah. Um, why? I'm 64. Yes. And I it's just felt right. there were things I wanted to tidy up. I wanted to go back on stage and just sing the songs that people wanted to hear and to say kind of hi to them again, let's, you know, let's get close again and, um, and just not be nervous. Well, I wish you well with that. Now, let's see how you do with uh, general knowledge. You've got eight points to start with. You've got to speak 23. <laughs> 20, 23. <laughs> Here we go. Two minutes starting now. What name is given to the elevated footway that models walk down at a fashion show? Catwalk. Yes, the male members of which 70s pop group collaborated with Tim Rice on the musical Chess? Oh, Abba. Yeah, which iconic American actress converted to Judaism on her marriage to the playwright Arthur Miller? Oh, Marilyn. Yes, which... Well, Marilyn Monroe. Which former Conservative MP with her partner, Vincent Simone, was the first contestant to be voted out of Strictly Come Dancing 2011 Vince. after a foxtrot failed to impress? Oh, Vincey Cable. No, Edwina Curry. What cured meat is traditionally used in the dish spaghetti carbonara? Um, cream and mm. bacon. Bacon, and... bacon. Which female best-selling novelist has written books including The Man Who Made Husbands Jealous, Riders, Polo and Jump? Jilly Cooper. Yes, Pauline Collins received her only Oscar nomination for playing the role of a middle-aged Liverpool housewife in which 1989 film? Pass. Alonso, Brussels and Chantilly are types of which decorative fabric? Brocade. Silk. Lace. What's supposed to have crashed near Roswell, New Mexico in July 1947? Um, a meteor. A flying saucer, a UFO. In which Jane Austen novel does the heroine imagine herself to be naturally gifted at matchmaking? She eventually marries Mr. Knightley. Oh, you know that silly one. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a name. I'm not an Austen fan. All right, I'll take it as a pass. Which American singer-songwriter was booed at the Newport Folk Festival in July 1965 because he was using an electric guitar? Oh, Bob Dylan. Yes, in pastry making, what terms used for pre-baking an empty pastry case lined with greaseproof paper and weighted down with rice or dried beans? Mm, I do it all the time. I don't know what... I all don't... right, take that as a pass as well. In which film about a gorilla who terrorises New York has the leading female role been played by Faye Ray in 33, Jessica Lange in 76 and Naomi Watts in 2005? What's the gorilla one? Come on, you know this one. Yeah, yeah, but you've got to tell me not them. That's the oh, thing. Okay. You won't get the point otherwise. Take it, King Kong. Yeah, think, what did you say? King Kong? Yes, you got it. Which party won their... I've started, so I shall finish. Which party won their first parliamentary seat when Caroline Lucas was elected as the MP for Brighton Pavilion in the last general election? Green. Yes, the Green Party. Uh, now, you have three passes. A baking blind is what oh, you could... Oh, yes. Yes, that's what it was. Emma is the name oh, of the uh, book by that person you don't like very much. And Shirley Valentine was what Pauline oh, Collins got. I should have got that. There you go. But you didn't do badly, Sandy. You've oh. got a total now of 16 points. Can I go? Yes. A high-scoring contest in the end. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place with 16 points, Sandy Shaw. Third place with 17 points, Stuart Francis. Second place with 23 points, Andrew Collins. First place, a big 29 points, Neil Dudgeon. Well done. So, uh, you're going to be taking that to uh, midsummer with you? I will. I shall be polishing it up and taking it to work to, to prove that I've been here. Excellent. I think they'll know that anyway. I hope I haven't yeah. brought shame on the county. A worthy winner. A Thank worthy winner. Much, Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Do join us again for more Celebrity Masterminds. Good night.
You don't have to be a celebrity to appear on the show, so if you would like to appear in the next series of Mastermind on BBC Two, then do visit us online at bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind.